Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to share with you one of my favorite apps for having students create simple collages about things they've learned, things they've discovered, or perhaps to create an alternative book cover or a visual book report, if you will. That app is called Pick Collage. It's available for Android and for iPad. It's a free app. It does have some in-app purchases, although I've never felt the need uh, to have to purchase anything to get the full function of the app. Let me go ahead and get started and open it up here. You'll see right away it's asking me to log in. You don't have to log in. You don't have to create an account in order to use Pick Collage. In fact, I'm not going to log in right now. I'm just going to click Create down here at the bottom. I'm going to start with a blank canvas. There's a huge gallery of templates that you can pick from. I just find it easier to start with a blank canvas and add things to it than it is to try to make things fit into someone else's template. So I just blank canvas. I'm going to tap anywhere on the screen to get started. I have a variety of ways that I can add images. In this case, I'm going to say add photos and I'm going to pull from my camera roll. So there's my camera roll. We're going to do a collage about my dogs. So I'll add a couple pictures of my dogs here. Let's add one more. Right. So now I can just tap and hold and move things around. I can pinch and zoom if I want to make this picture of Morrison bigger or smaller. Move it over that way. And drag them wherever I want. Now one of the neat things about Pick Collage is you can also add video to it. So let's go ahead and tap the plus button at the bottom of the screen. And let's add video. Now the video does have to come from YouTube. And you kind of have to know what you're looking for before you search here and pick collage. I know what I'm looking for. This is a video that I posted on YouTube about my dog trying on booties. And now that video is right there in the collage. You can see I can pinch and zoom to expand it, move it around, put it wherever I want on the screen. And if I tap one of the pictures, that will bring it forward in front of the video. And now let's go ahead and add some text. I'm just going to call this one Max and Morrison. Let's move that text up to the top. Now let's look at our background options. So I'll click the icon on the bottom left corner here. We can say change layout or change background. Let's go ahead and change background. We have a huge gallery of backgrounds to pick from. I'm going to use that wood green kind of look. You'll see if we tap that icon again, we also have change layout. And that will give us a variety of collage templates that we can work from. But I'm going to stick with what I've made so far. Now let's look at how to share this. So I'll click the share icon in the bottom right corner. And you see post to pick collage. However, you do have to have a pick collage account for that to, to do anything. Otherwise, you can just say save to library. And save to library is going to save it to your camera roll. And when you do that, it's going to take you to this huge gallery of things that other people have created and shared on Pick Collage, although yours is not going to be shared because you don't have a Pick Collage account. If you want to go back and see what you've already done, tap Create down at the bottom of the screen again. And now we can slide and see what we've already made in the Pick Collage account. This has been saved to my camera roll, and from my camera roll I can share it by a Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, any number of services to uh, save it as an image and use it in other places. So that's Pick Collage. In the next video, we'll look at how we can make Pick Collage interactive by using ThingLink.